When I was in high school, during basketball games, when we would travel away, we would have to come back through Columbia, Tennessee. Columbia, Tennessee was the big town for us. And back then, they only had two restaurants, McDonald's and Hardee's. McDonald's, that's the one you wanted to stop at on the way home. And you better hope and pray that another away team didn't beat you there. Because if not, you went to Hardee's. And back then in 1994, yes, to date myself, if you went to Hardee's in Columbia, you were going to be there for two hours. But at least your, vo- your food would be very mediocre and cold by the time you got it. Now, why was that? Hardee's in the mid-90s was trying to be all things to all people. Not just burgers, but they had roast beef and different kind of sandwiches and god bless they started offering chicken not very good chicken and they had become known for their biscuits and the california raisins but then they wanted to branch out and offer everything to everybody i get that but it didn't work very well for them and then they had to later reinvent themselves to what you see now as the hardy slash carl's jr big thick burger with a supermodel advertising it they still have other items but they'll just introduce them to you as you become familiar with them for what they're known for so how does that affect you do you want to offer all things to all people and try to be everything to everybody or would you rather specialize in two or three things and be very good at them and then introduce people to the rest of your items as you can otherwise you're going to be mid-1990s hardy's roast beef